Hello fellow Mavavi users. My name is Art and here are some tips I've learned working with Mavavi this past year. So let's start by making a new project. I've already uploaded my media, so I'll start by dragging my video file to the main video track. This video was done with green screen, which I'll talk about some tips for working with that in another video. Now, when I started making videos, I was using microphones on my phone or my GoPro, and sometimes in rooms that were horrible for acoustics. It's more complicated, you know. Flamingos are pink because of... One thing I found that can help with that tinny or echoey sound I was getting was to go to the audio tools, select the equalizer, and rather than using the preset choices, adjust the 1K and 2K frequency sliders down a bit. Sometimes the answer is simple and straightforward. Now, you may have to play with this a little bit to get the most out of it, but it will help some in improving the sound. So I eventually bought a separate microphone I can use with my cell phone and produce a much better quality sound file. So let's bring that separate file into our project. But now I have to sync them up, and one of the great additions to the video editor is a sync function. I used to have to do this by matching the peaks in the sound file display. So let's go back to the audio tools and the sync function. Now you have to have your two files you want synced up highlighted, which you can do by using the control button and your mouse to select those files. And then you just hit the sync button and you will see the files adjust. I'll make some adjustments to trim the clips and go back and mute the audio on the original clip. So now my sounds are synced up and I've got good quality. The chicken crossed the road to get to the other side. But I want to add a little bit more dramatic effect with some background music. So let's create another audio track and I will drop my music file into that track. I used to just fade in and fade out the music or cut the music file into segments and adjust the volume in those. But then I found out about volume points. This is a great feature. So let's add a few here. You can do this by either right clicking or double clicking on the volume bar in the sound file. I will add two at the beginning to fade the music to a lower volume while I'm talking and six or 12% works well for that. And then a few at the end to gradually increase the volume for that dramatic closing effect. And here's what it sounds like at the end. These are life's big questions with the final question, why? And I will give you plenty of time for your answer. So grab your number two pencils Ready? Begin. Well, hopefully those tips were helpful. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in seeing more of my Movavi tips, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for upcoming episodes.